Okay. Yes, because hello everybody and welcome back to the last roleplay. It's Major 3. Howdy everybody. Welcome back everyone. Greetings, hail and well met. Hail. Uh, I'm your host, Yohan. This is this is our GM, Bleal. Yeah, sorry about how long it's been since the last one. It's fine, there's a player winter. Hello. Which I guess those of you who are, who are watching from a playlist when all of this is finished, this well, really, one matters. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, and there's our other player, Kit. Greetings to the future. And we don't have Zombie right now, but hopefully they'll join us a bit later. Until then, let's just play the game. <laughs> God, April. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. I don't know about you. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm ready to go, boo-boo. Yeah. Hey. Anyway, so, um, we should probably start by everyone reading off their shit. Uh, Winter, did you post in the chat the list of... Of, of character aspects and shit, uh, so that they can there. all read it. You know. There, it has been done. Alright. I am the yeah. MCA, also known as Major Cassandra Ashford. <clears throat> My high concept is that I'm a burgeoning, two fisted uh, people's hero. My trouble is that I have enemies everywhere. My aspects are that there's always another way because I don't believe in killing. I'm a former Order agent. I believe that the truth is out there. I'm trying to bring down the big guys. I got a soft spot for family tragedy. And I am Fran's student and protector. Good. I am playing Edward, the disgraced hero, trying to find himself with friends like these. He is a law-abiding fugitive who has been through some shit. Leaves no stone unturned. Is the suits most wanted? Hopefully, the truth will set him free, and he still is plagued by the curse of those damn green eyes. Helps if you mention which one's your high concept, which one is your trouble, and which are your aspects. High concept, disgrace here, trying to find himself, trouble with friends like these, the rest, aspects. Kid? I'm playing Lee, who has a high concept doesn't know if he's a hero, but he used to play one on the screen. His trouble is that the big things are coming for him. Bring it on. He is a disgrace to his family, but his siblings love him. He will pour one out for our civil rights. He is what he is. He's the only master and frequent student of the Shaw family martial arts. He will handle things with a pair of tongs, and he tries to be a good man. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to read out my volios real quick. Uh, just in case uh, Zamboni Cam uh, you know, joins us midway through. Uh, so, Malvolio Ruprecht uh, has the high concept of an uh, ambitious hero seeking to make the world a better place. His trouble is physically crippled, physically ill. Um, he, and his aspects include uh, that he was born with a silver spoon, uh, he's got your back. A sex magnet. Sister seeker. Let's get on with it. And I know you know I know. And finally, uh, we uh, have... Fran. Also known as... You know, I guess formerly Sunny. Formerly now that everyone Sunny, in the yeah. party knows that she's Fran. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, her high concept is redemption-seeking blue sky agent. Her trouble is I've done things I regret. She's a loyal friend. She pines for her lost brother. She has an eidetic memory. I know you're lying. I'm just being nice. The kindness of strangers. What's legal and what's right. And secret methods. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, with last we left off, after you all got swallowed <laughs> by, by you, a big war plant. Yeah, we we had a brief uh, aside where all of you were um, after traveling we through the the pocket dimension within the stomach of a muse of a serial killer from the eighties in Italy. 
Um, you you make your way out after punching a guy in the face and several billionaires. After and aggressively king shaming the stand user, we escape from her <laughs> yeah, magic realm. Absolutely magical. Yeah. So now now uh, now you uh, now you as the party and Adam are sitting next to an unconscious serial killer tied to a tree, while uh, Malvolio decided to crawl back in to uh, notify every everyone inside um, about you know yes the way being clear. So yeah, here you are sitting around. Uh, there's pineapple pizza all over the ground because Lee just kicked Adam's pizza. It's cold pizza, and it's just scattered everywhere. Oh no, his breadsticks. <laughs> um, you know what? Uh, were there actually breadsticks here? Yeah, sure. Lee snatches two out of the air. Uh, still while holding up the phone to continue his talk with his uh, less than legal contacts. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh-huh. But, um, yeah. So, what happened in there? I... This is Adam. Yeah, yeah I'll take And he starts rubbing blood off her knuckles and says, some bad stuff. Some really bad stuff. Yeah, we fought our way out. It was pretty not great. Yeah, after your call, I, I rushed over as fast as I could. Um, you know, I I kind of didn't tell anyone uh, about it, but I, yeah, I, I rushed over here as fast as I could, but, um, you know, I, I was tailing her, and she kind of got the drop on me somehow. She has a yeah. tendency to do that. I think she has some ability to knock people out from a distance. Yeah. Uh, um, he, he, he stares at the pizza on the floor. Uh, I guess there's not much, uh, not much else to eat here. I, uh, uh, Lee takes guys... a bite out of the breadstick in a lull in the conversation on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> NCA shrugs. I'm not going to eat that pizza. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I don't really trust it anymore. Uh, a breadstick goes flying through the air towards MCA. She catches it. I, I Thank mean, you. I'm glad I brought this, though. Um, he pulls out of his bag what looks to be just a can of beans. And pulls out a, uh, out a can opener. And then just opens it up. <laughs> yeah. Grabs a spoon. Just starts eating raw beans. And he's like, oh, I don't know if you want some I, I, I planned the, uh, the, the pizza would be all yours, but you know th this was my food. Yeah, it's okay, Rorschach. I think I'm all right. Okay. Yeah, I I'll also agree with that. Mm -hmm. uh, Breadstick that is waved over Lee's shoulder. Breadstick. Where's the, um, where, that's a very long breadstick for some reason. <laughs> um, where where's the um, where's the guy in the wheelchair? Uh, he's currently crawling through about a mile of uh, well, I don't even know what like some real nasty nasty good <laughs> didn't even know he could move he can't he's mostly just kind of crawling hands and feet sort of deal oh. is he going to be alright in there or? Yeah, probably oh. he's, you know he's incompetent and it's, okay well, that's Fair. What is he anyway? Like, I, don't I mean, know, I don't like know much 18, about 19? any of you. But, well, not age, but know. you know, like, this is a, this is a like a, a, a competition with like representatives from companies all over the world. So like, oh god, you know, no, he's he's like some rich kid from a, you know, big big company over in England. Which one? <laughs> uh, what, exactly. What was one of the subsidiaries that uh, 
Medusa Master owns. Master Strokes. What? Master Strokes. Master Strokes. Uh, well, he's the heir apparent of the Master Strokes Empire. <laughs> he spits out, you know, yeah. beans. <laughs> um, that's that's the largest company in Britain. MCA takes a swig of, you know, like booze from her flask. Yep. He's downright fabulously wealthy. I, where th- does he not have bodyguard? Or wait, are you his bodyguard? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you're serious? No. Oh. Well, wh- where was the, where's the nun? She. Holy shit! Where's the nun? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Hey, Lee, do you I remember? You were keeping an eye on the nun, says Lee from over his shoulder, and then dives back into some rapid Cantonese. I, was, no I didn't really want to get involved. I always kind of figured it was none of my business. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> the awkward <laughs> silence. <laughs> well, honestly, I don't know. We she, we actually might have left her back in that prison bus along with uh, along with Elaine. No, she was gone by that point. Uh, you know, chimes in. Fran from sitting from a tree in the distance. Uh, well, not in the distance, but in a little ways away. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe she went back to uh, went back to Master Strokes Incorporated. Hopefully. Huh. What, do you know what her power was? Or? Uh, yeah, she was like a hard light manipulator or something. She could like take light and harness it into solid objects. Huh. Interesting. Did, huh. do, you, do you know all your, your guys' powers and stuff? Or Sorry, what was that? Do you all know about each other's powers and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Mel manipulation. Teleportation. Uh, a see. teleportation? <laughs> yeah, a friend. Oh. Because of the method. Uh, <laughs> I'm, making, I'm making a joke. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, points back at the at the at the plant, uh, mind control, and uh, punches things really hard. Yeah, punches things hard. Over at uh, over at Lee. Yeah, Lee looks over his shoulder. Was that you or me? As he shrugs. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Fair. I also kick things, too. What about you, uh, Edward? Well, I was covered the first one with mental manipulation. Oh. You have a real, uh, variety, huh? Yeah, a whole bunch of punching, a whole bunch of using metal to punch things even more. Not much healers, huh? No, we yeah. uh, don't really have a ton in the way of uh, medical adv- uh, medical help. Same. Uh, my drugs and ghosts. I know a little acupressure. Mm. Yeah, my um, my my group is mostly just destruction. So you know, it seems to be kind of a trend with people with muses or stands or thetans or. Whatever they're called. God, we really need to consolidate our terminology. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I mean, each of us have our own ways of healing, in a way. I can Mm. stop bleeding by constantly applying pressure with even a pen. Wouldn't you just stab someone with a pen, if that's the case? Depends on the pen. Yeah, MCA just starts looking at Edward askance and just go, that's wait, you think that the best way to deal with major trauma is stabbing bits of metal into the wound? I didn't say major trauma. MCA backs away slightly. <laughs> I, I love I love the scene here 
It's just, it's just you have you have someone eating like an exceptionally long breadstick. Fucking. Well, I mean, Lee is just like taking small yeah. bites out of it as he talks on the phone. So, he's was, that so the way that Lee eats is tiny little nibbling. Imagine Lee. He's a nibbler. Almost, like he's like J. Jonah Jameson on the phone, just like he's got like the breadstick hanging out of the side of his mouth and occasionally nibbles yes, on it. Absolutely. Hello. Oh god. <laughs> Bring me <laughs> Bring me Mafia or what what is it? Yakuza murderers or whatever. The, to- the tong. Bring me Kong uh, fuck. Bring me car bring me tongs. Bring me want, pictures of King Kong. I want <laughs> I want bodies dissolving in acid. <laughs> Good shit. Good, Good shit. shit. Yeah. So yeah, uh, MCA shrugs. It's sort of what we have. We're not exactly overflowing with, uh, you know, non-destructive powers, but that's kind of most people, as far as I can tell. That's true. Healing you seems mean- to be something of a lost art amongst uh, people with powers. Yeah. Well, it. Are you friends with the the mind controller guy? Uh, friends is a strong term. Oh. Um. I don't know. I something about a mind control character, you know, or yeah, a character. <laughs> something about a mind control. Uh, he's, he's from the 1940s. He's talking about a mind control character. I don't like it. Just sits weird. Yeah, with me. no, uh, not gonna lie. No, I don't think. Especially if you're not good friends with them. Yeah, MC looks at the at the plant and shrugs. Well, unfortunately, we don't exactly have a ton of options right now, and uh, yeah. you know, uh, somebody she kind of thumbs over at Edward. You know, some people really like him, so you know, Ishne on the on the, you know, Kibune. <laughs> <laughs> okay. just Edward's just taking a sip out of his canteen or something. Yeah. Actually, you know what? In Cantonese, Lee says, you suspect mind control? MZA calls back in Cantonese as well. Not sure, but I th- but it's my best you know, guess right now. Huh. Lee shrugs, nods. Yeah, I guess you can see where you're coming from. Are you from that part of China? I have business in uh, China and oh, family. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. I, I can just recognize certain languages. Um, you know, especially with like all of the um Chinese tourists in my area of the woods. Hmm. You uh speak any of the other other languages or is it pretty much just No, just Vietnamese and English. That's fair. I don't really speak a lot of Vietnamese myself, but uh, it's a nice country. Kind of. I kind of. Um, yeah. He is actually going to uh, hear something on the phone, get really concerned, and walk off into the woods. <laughs> MZA watches him go and then looks back at uh, Adam and says, So, where are, uh, where is the rest of your party? I kind of left them in a hurry to help y'all. Not gonna come looking for you, or are they going to just keep going on their own? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I, I, I don't know. Well, I guess you might as well stay it's, with us for a time. It's only been a couple hours, and oh, well. so I imagine they they haven't noticed yet. Have you tried calling mm-hmm. them? No. Do you know what my dad would do if he figured out that I was helping out another team? You know, your dad would probably do if he found out that you were missing and then also, you know, found you with another team. team. Not as bad as things, I assure you. He'd be, he'd be less angry finding you working for another team than to hear that you might have helped another team. <laughs> just, just silence. 
Yeah. Yeah. Loud, indistinct uh, Chinese from the forest. Yeah. MCA just like slowly shakes her head. I'm so sorry. I like, like just like instead of under breath in, in Russian. Like I hate working with amateurs. I hate working with amateurs. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Mm. So, are you, all of y'all getting a ride from whatever it is that he's calling up? Or yeah, probably his uh, family is uh, gonna give us a hand. Probably. Okay, mm. that's fair. Uh, I only have my motorcycle, so I can't really well, take all of us. Yeah, we wouldn't expect that. Yeah. Lee walks back out of the uh, woods. Okay, had to yell a bit, but things are good. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, uh, Adam, why don't you get back to your dad before he gets too angry or anything? Uh, you, uh, yeah, you probably want to get, you know, scoot. Uh, Lee, Adam's fa- oh, sorry, blah. Lee's family can get a little bit uh, touchy, so uh, I want to to scoot. All right. Uh, he, here's a parting gift, and he, he gives ten notes just fucking stacked on top of each other before just walking away. He looks um, at them and goes, "Okay, thanks, Adam," and then tosses them to Edward. Edward will just put them in his pocket. Congrats, Edward! You have forty-two notes on yourself. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to get He's- murdered. You can tell that he's probably got a lot more notes than you, based yeah. on just willingly just giving off ten at the yeah immediately. I mean, being entirely fair, considering how uh, <laughs> amateur he is about tradecraft, I can see him just going, "Well, this is what uh, you know my dad gave me, and I can find a reason why I lost him." Yeah, yeah. Here, notes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can see that. I can also see that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, MCA says. So uh, Lee, you uh, got in touch with the uh, your friends? Yeah, it, it ain't exactly family. If you catch my drift, um, hopefully they should be able to give us some mm, transportation, something low profile. Hopefully, um, at least to get us a little bit further maybe get a little bit of intel um, also to make sure that that one doesn't get loose again. So, mm-hmm. good idea. Mm-hmm. MCA walks over and, you know, nudges the uh, the killer with her, her uh, the toe of her boot. Still cold. Still fucking knocked out cold. Uh, this one does not need to get back out on the streets. Mm-hmm. Deeply agreed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the reason why I'm pulling in a favor with some specialists. Frankly, considering what happened to the last one, I don't know that I trust that to keep this one down. Uh, Lee gestures to all the scars. Right, yeah, this one, uh, this one looks like it, she could come back from just about anything. Eh, well, hopefully they'll be able to keep a handle on her. MCA does not press further. She doesn't want that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Edward doesn't want to know either. Plausible deniability. It, Lee actually mutters something under his breath in Cantonese. Yeah, does MCA try and no, go ahead? No, she, she lets him uh, have his, his mutterings. I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, no, she lets him have his mutterings. She's not going to try and like eavesdrop on literally everything he says. Okay. Um, but yeah, she... she uh, Looks back at the uh, at the dying plant and says, uh, "Speaking of which, we should probably go and get Malvolio. At the very least, he shouldn't be in there when uh, your friends arrive." Yeah, um, that's probably true. Uh, uh, we got to go back in. Yeah, but not for too long. We'll just, you know, uh, grab, him grab him and pull him yeah, out, and uh, yeah, move along. Lee cracks his knuckles. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I'll sit out here and keep an eye out. And, you know, in case your buddies come over, 
Actually, that's a good point. Uh, Lee, you should probably stay out because if the tongues come and uh, the only person they see is Fran, they might get a little uh, nervous. Yeah, good point. Um, and uh, Oli pats the very likely heavily concussed uh, serial killer on the head. I'll keep an eye on this one. Okay, that's a good idea. We got this. Yeah, we'll go get Malvolio. All right. Good luck. Um, yeah. Yeah. So after uh, after after very little walking, you you find um, Melville. You made it surprisingly far into the cave. Um, he's at the steps that you ended up climbing. Climbing. Uh, yeah. Not the second one to be exact. And he's covered in fucking dirt. Yeah. I just pick him up out of the dirt and start walking back to the exit. Come on, this place is gonna collapse pretty soon, probably. He's like lightning, uh, lightly punching you and. And and uh, you know he he's protesting because he needs to notify the people in the town. Uh, don't worry, they you know they're probably lost anyway. And if they're not, then hey, maybe they'll survive when this place collapses. We never know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Edward is spinning the chain, looking each way to make sure nothing comes out of the woodwork. You still have that chain, though. Yeah. It's a tool. It's For a guy leave. who manipulates metal, you sure don't have a lot of weapons. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, it, being fair to Winter, his arsenal is only as strong as his weakest link. Oh. But on Tish. I want to die. <laughs> uh, why did we? Why did we even do this? No. <laughs> it's fine. So yeah, we he- head back out. Because this is punishment for our sins. Yeah. This is you know that's but we lost our none. This is the true Dark Souls. The real Dark Souls starts now. So yeah, we head out yeah. to go and meet up with the others. Yeah, the the Tons are there. Um, they they the the you know they they seem to be uh, well they're yell- probably yelling in Cantonese at, at Lee about um, about the people that he's with. Um. Yeah, but aside from that... Uh, yeah, at least say, saying, I, I gotta work with what I've got here, come on. Yeah, it, you want us to just erase a body from existence. So it's not the easiest thing, pal. You know precisely how to do this. Is, do I need to break it down for you? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, but you... Look... We Just don't want onlookers. Make this person disappear at the very least until the end of this little race. Yeah, fine. And it's quits. It's done. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right. Quietly, permanently. <laughs> yeah. All right. Your, your your friends over there need to get out of the way for a bit, though. Yeah. You um, don't want we'll them to know here. about our stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, You're the specialist. I trust you on this. Just don't screw around with this one. They're more dangerous than they look. Yeah, we'll, we'll do. Um, they, uh, you can see a couple of tons. Uh, concerningly enough, um, they, they untie the body and drag it further into the woods. Um, while, you know, while a few stay behind with a, a car ready for all of you. And, all right. uh, and you also see a few plastic containers being carried out in the woods, too. Um, Let's go. Possible to die the elite yeah. <laughs> yeah, MCA is walks over to the new car and checks it out. It's pretty decent. It's it's like a, a long, uh, sturdy, sturdily built SUV. Hmm. Yeah. It, oh, and the, uh, the top of it also has a sunroof, too. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, so who wants to uh, drive? Lee grabs uh, MCA's shoulder before they get in. When we get away, we check this for bugs and trackers. She she just nods and gives you a little smile. And is like like yes, you're right. We should uh, you know make sure to check the gas when we get to the uh, yeah thing. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Lee pulls out the keys, opens it up. Okay. I pop in the driver's side. Not the driver's side, the um, passenger side. Edward just makes his way into the back. Mm-hmm. 
We we <laughs> strap in Malvolio. Awkwardly sits next to him in the back. Well, they they have Malvolio in the middle of them, but yeah, yeah. Like, 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 Malvolio sandwich. Be on the, uh, yeah, it, be on the side because they have to like strap her in properly, like have, strap him in properly to do his legs not being so good. Oh, so true. So Fran is stuck between Edward, who's like. You know, like recently learned her true identity, Malvolio. Who, who, who's putting on. his? Uh, yeah, and he, he's putting his uh, his hands over his pants. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> As he's sitting right next to Malvolio, <laughs> an angry, silent Malvolio. Um, well, he, not so much angry, so much as as distant. Um, yeah. And then Fran's staring out the window, and he's like, oh, "God damn it!" And we're just like looking down at his, just at his hands. I guess, as soon I guess as everyone's actually strapped in. Like Lee's gonna start driving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the engine roars to life. Uh, you know, you can feel it throughout the car, and then you yeah, yeah step on the gas. Yeah, and um, MZA pulls open the uh, driver's compartment, and starts flipping through the cassette tapes to see if there's anything worth listening to. Mm-hmm. Now, now here's a question um, for Lee. Did you end up uh, during that conversation asking for someone to um, to to ride with you? I'm sorry. What? Did you ask for anyone to ride with you? Like no. Okay. Because, like we were specifically going to start looking for like bugs uh, to like re- to basically remove all the tracing devices that the uh, uh, that the tongs would have put in this car. So we don't want a tong member here while we rip out everything that they are trying to use to spot on us. No, that's super fair. Yeah, Lee's actually uh, after you know a couple of minutes on the road going to look back in the rearview mirror and goes, I "Suppose we should probably make a stop and pick up a folding wheelchair, huh?" That's probably a good idea. Mm-hmm. Would I'm sure Edward can notice like any trackers or something if they're metallic. Would right? Um, a, well, is his ability to sense metal or just manipulate metal? Um, manipulate yeah, metal. Yeah, manip- pretty sure. So I guess. No. Um, I mean, you could attempt to. Well, the the problem is if you if you do he, that, you're probably going to crush the car if you if you just want to like. Yeah. much metal out. Yeah, and, and, that's assume, and that's assuming that there is even metal in the yeah. tra- uh, bugs. I mean, gonna be wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah, wouldn't they have? Yeah, they, wouldn't they account for someone who has the ability to manipulate metal? Well, the, the, well, the Tongs probably they know, know that. that. Uh, that's fair. I mean, they probably have some supernatural awareness. To yeah. be fair, he is a notorious criminal. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll definitely yeah. just make a stop and like pull them out properly. That's know, fair. Yeah. Old yeah. school spycraft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so in the cassette, uh, in the cas, you know, the cassette compartment, whatever. In the, yeah. the, uh, drivers compartment, in the, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Love box. Love box, that's it. Yeah. The data box. The, it seems to me most of it is the taste of the person who put these there and also one tape that that has tape uh, uh, over it as a label that just reads Lee's Mix. MCA pulls out this one and then like just beaming as she puts it in. <laughs> <laughs> what what kind of music does Lee listen to? Lee has a tendency to listen to old school Hong Kong cinema uh, soundtracks. And she just starts smiling no more broadly <laughs> so, as she. So what you're saying is something that we can play in the in the thing without getting copyrights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wow. not sure. I'm not sure. Movie soundtracks are yeah. the sort of thing that we could probably get away. To be fair, but old movie soundtracks. Eh. It, the copyright stuff with music with music is fucking absurd. Yeah. I I honestly don't think that we could get away with it. But like, think the cheesy like. 80, 60s, 70s, 80s Hong Kong action film. Um, I'm so glad I've never seen any. Hmm? I've never seen any. <laughs> okay, we need to fix that at some point. Um, for those watching at home, watch Enter the Dragon if you haven't already. If not, think of that. Mm. I think the last time I've seen well, here, like here, a, a I, film I like I, that was was when it was a time a wee lass, and so. 
I, I don't. Yeah, I, I can't play it for the for the people at home, but for those of you in the actual call, I'm just going to post this to you because you can listen to it. I just can't. Sure. Um, so yeah, um, you can just put that on the background while yeah. we're. Uh, so regardless, you have like weird old, uh, you know, Enter the Dragon style music and shit uh, playing while you're driving. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we're uh, highway starring it along and then as soon as we find the first place that might have a wheelchair we're going to take a little stop to pick up something for Malvolio to actually be able to you know not have to crawl around in mm-hmm. yeah do, do you you find a hardware store in a, a little uh, in, in a town in between uh, in, in between the, the area that you're going to next on the map yeah so so mm. MZA is going to buy a knife and just start like tearing the car apart to find all the bugs. So you guys have a, you guys can have a little steam while MCA is doing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What kind of wheelchair do you think that he'd want? Well, I mean, I don't know that we have room for anything but a folding one in that car. I mean, yeah, but what color? Let's see what they have first. Fair. I mean, yeah. I, I don't think a hardware store, as much as you know, it is a place to find a wheelchair, is likely to have much in the way of fashion choice. I'm just imagining right now they have the the kids, um, like shopping cart right now with Malvolio sitting in it, sitting in it. <laughs> like he he can't sit in the child seat, obviously. <laughs> but he he's sitting in the basket. <laughs> fucking crumpled up in there not speaking it's like i I think he's angry (laughs) with us i mean if he were doing that why why are we talking about him like he's not here because he's not speaking okay that's fine that's also partly my reason so that Mm -hmm. you know i don't do anything on zombies behalf that right zombie wouldn't approve of Mm -hmm. what color does uh malvolio normally wear uh green I guess we could look for green. Yeah. I mean, there's no harm in trying. Oh, you know what? You know what? It, I guess it doesn't really matter. We could just paint it green. Just all I the metal. I was about in. to say, yeah, there, there's paint here. I'm certain, but you're gonna have to be careful about that, or else you're gonna gum up the hinges. Fair enough. But um, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, MCA, uh, do a careful roll for me. Please. Right. Uh, so let's see here. On. Boop, 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 this this boop. is for the bugs, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We um, figured. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow, that's terrible. Uh, okay, so that's a total of. That's a six, so it's a total of uh, negative one. Negative. Oh, sorry, I'm zero. No, I'm zero. I'm zero. You I'm put a bug in. Okay. Um, so I'm going to uh, use a, uh, a fey point with former order agent to pop that up to a two. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. You you are able to find a, as many as you think you can. You know, you're able to get um, a, at least most of the obvious ones. Uh, yeah. You'd think that they would probably not put too many more than than like the amount that you got out. Yeah, they probably wouldn't have like more than two or three yeah. bugs in, in a car for people who they're probably not too terrifyingly yeah. interested in keeping track in of. In a car for five people, it, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, so so here here's the... Uh, so, so you're walking through the equivalent of a Home Depot. Yeah. Let, let's just call it Houseport. Um, <laughs> or something. Um, what's another word for a depot? I just um, call but, home yeah, deposit. Yard. Yeah, home deposit. Uh, the the home goods deposit store. Um, so anyway, you 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 head over to whatever aisle you'd think wheelchairs would be in. Um, you, you find a bunch of bicycles, stuff like that. Uh, it, it is a bit hard. The store is very big. At one point, Edward suggests uh, suggests just putting two bicycles together and making that work. 
Edward, it's a bicycle built for two, not a wheelchair built of two bicycles. <laughs> if we can't find anything here, we might have to build it. I mean, I, I'm sure that with enough time, I could build it. Yeah. Maybe we should just ask an employee. That might be a good idea. Probably a good idea. It takes you a while to actually find an employee. This place is so big and it seems to be understaffed. It's amazing. Um, and uh, and and a a, a tired looking uh, person comes up to you. Huh? Yeah. yeah hello. Do you have wheelchairs? Oh, wheelchairs? Yeah. Or do you know where I can get some? Um. Well, we don't normally sell wheelchairs, but we we have some in the back for accessibility requirements. Uh, I'll I'll go get my manager, and, and maybe they can work something out. Like, is this the guy uh, here? Yep. No, it's... Uh, he's looking very uncomfortable in uh, the cart. I, I I really gotta say. Yeah. Um. Do you have a preference for? For... Awkward, awkward silence. Uh, for, for anything in particular? Or... Holding? We'll Got bring you. that up with your manager. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll I'll go get them, right, real quick. <laughs> so he walks away. Now you're sitting. He's gonna turn towards Edward. Do you leave tips for waiters? Uh, when I can. Oh, he just gets a pained look on his face. Oh, Fr I... Fran, Fran. <laughs> it's like, no, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Ever, ever since, ever since you, 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 Edward, ever since we, uh, we've been working together, you, you haven't fucking paid a dime to, to them. Well, you know the state of our office. I know, I know, I, I know. Yeah, Ed whispers to Lee. He says it. He says it's to help rate is save money, and that they don't need it as much as him. I mean, it makes sense from where he is at, but you know, it's kind of rude. Lee is going to clap a hand on Edward's shoulder. Fingers are going to dig in. <laughs> Edward. Yes. If you can't afford to eat, uh, to, to tip, you can't afford to eat out. Oh, all right. If you're in another country, this is another matter. But this is the United States of goddamn America, where tips are mandatory. Got me? Yes. Uh, Lee pats him twice on the cheek with his other hand. Good. The uh, the 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 employee with a with a manager, a big fucking bulbous looking man, looking man, um, with with some glorious looking Civil War era. Facial hair walks up. How may I be of service to you? Hi. Um, we're in a bit of a bind. We recently lost a wheelchair for this man, and this was the closest place that we could think of that might have something. Uh, your employee tells me that you don't normally stock it, but you might have something. Can we work something out, or can you show me to a place, uh, give me a place where I could get one? Um, well, I guess we can just sell you one. I we don't normally do that. Not a lot of people come in with a person in a basket and, and ask about that. I, do you happen to be a part of the, the... I hate to bring this up since it is a bit private, but are you a part of that whole thing involving the millionaires coming through here? <sighs> okay. Like millionaire to you. Lee is going to go ahead and uh, you know pinch the bridge of his nose. Okay, look, I'm going to level with you. I'm on legal staff with the guy who set it up. Fair enough, but I th I'm pretty sure that's some. It's just I, I, a pain from start to finish. Yeah, okay, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's that person in the basket there. I unless you don't know is the heir to, you know, ma Master Strokes. Lee moves a little bit closer. It's kind of an open secret, unfortunately, and it's fair my enough. job to keep it. I mean, fair enough, but, you know, I... Anyway, is there 
anything I can do for you, Mr. Uh, Malvolio? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking pursed lips. <laughs> his his spine is bent out of shape because he's like shoved awkwardly into the into the <laughs> cart. <laughs> Look, Mr. Ruprecht is feeling a little bit under the weather, so I'm sorry that he's not really up to the whole meet and greet thing. I really am, but if we could get some get a move on this uh, as fast as possible, that'd be great. I'll lead you over to the back. Uh, we don't normally take anyone back there, but since you're have such a specific order, you know. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, Fran Fran accepts to to keep an eye on Malvolio while the two of you go in with the manager. Yeah, Edward's still rubbing where the where mm-hmm. his finger stuck in. No, you know, it, Lee at this point puts uh, a hand, uh, an arm around uh, Edward's shoulders and goes, "See what you can get if you're nice with people." Possible trap. Be careful. No. Yeah. Yeah. I. I see that. No. He's the, the only an thing we have is um, it's folding chairs. Um, th- this is for accessibility means, and uh, I hope you're okay with neon flags. Uh, Unfortunately, Mr. Ruprick will just have to deal with it. He hasn't expressed any particular inclinations one way or the other, or so I suppose it'll do his best. All right. Uh, he pulls out a folding chair, and uh, the entire back is just... It has the company logo on it, and it has, like, reflective tape on it. Like, or, you know, little bits on, on cars that are reflective or whatever. Yeah. And then there's a, fl- a little, a little um, flag... Coming off the top, that's a uh, that's a bright neon orange. Uh, so here you go. That'll work perfectly. Are you sure that you won't have any trouble by letting go of branded merchandise like this? Oh, it's fine. It's it's fine, really. I like. You know, I'm pretty sure my corporate bosses are going to be happy, especially with all the the people coming through. Like, you know, that young gent. And you, you see the back door. Open with with boxes being hauled out by um, by by people, and uh, a familiar face that, that bleeds your fucking you know boils your fucking blood uh, at oh, the side no. of is sitting there counting the boxes. Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, it's you. Ah, uh, hello, peasants. <laughs> hello, same face. Well, <clears throat> I was just taking a, a stop here <laughs> for some supplies. I mean, after all, when you have an entire convoy at your disposal, you need to have, you know, some things for them. But, uh, what brings you a part of this neck of the woods? Well, as we were talking to, uh, he just motions his hand, we were grabbing some supplies of our own. Mm. Good, good. I'm sure you can buy little tiny trinkets. Lee just holds up a hand. Okay, look. Richbit, don't front. You're buying from a big box store. Uh-huh. Really, if you're trying to go ahead and flaunt the wealth, this is not the way. Oh, no, no, no. I specially ordered the things in these boxes. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. They're worth yeah. more Again, than you've ever made. <laughs> big box store. Uh-huh, right. Right, right. So, I assume that you're having bad luck on the, uh, on the, you know, on the competition here? <laughs> We're doing great, actually. you sure about that? How, how many notes? <laughs> this is really going to be something that you're expecting to get uh, just a straight-up answer on. Oh, yeah. Two 
somewhere, so, <laughs> yeah, somewhere on the fucking, parking lot, and roll me a sneak her head roll. on the side of the car. Roll me a sneak. <laughs> I rolled three negatives, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to roll to contest that shit. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and my worth is less than less than a million. That's uh Yeah, I, I'd say that you're worth less than a million beans, if I'm being perfectly honest. Zing, Be motherfucker. Beans? Yeah. It's about the only thing worthless enough to really count up your particular intrinsic worth in my mind. Maybe squirts. As in, you're not worth more than two. Hmm. 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 If I wasn't in a public place right now. If you weren't in a if you weren't in a public place right now, you'd follow through on some wonderful little threat. But you are in a public place right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And oh yeah. Uh, Leaf pulls out a phone, and this is a voice recorder, so uh, there's some legalities that happen in this country. Saying that I'm threatening you. I think he's that saying that if, if you end up... Do, okay, I'm not there, but like... <laughs> like, like I, I think the, the implication is like, I'm not threatening you, but if you do anything... If anything happens to me at this point, then like... You will basically be then, like it'll be incredibly obvious that you did it, and it'll yeah yeah you know, take it's, about yeah. thirty seconds for a jury to convict you. Yeah, it's an implied threat, but it's still a threat in the eyes of the law. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll see you on your way with your cripple, and I'll get back. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Edward. He, he does a similar slap on the face that Lee did. Uh, <laughs> Edward is rock hard. Yeah, yeah, Lee, ju Lee just waits uh, for him to leave and goes, is that like a rich person thing? I never realized that was a rich person thing. I don't know. He just rubs his cheek. <laughs> and Lee looks over. Okay, you've got previous history with this guy. What can you tell me? Uh, he's related to Malfolio. Uh, I' not exactly sure how. I know they have the same father, so I guess the brothers probably with a different mother. But, but, yeah. So, um, you want to screw this one too? <laughs> no, no. I, Lee just holds up his hands. It could be a hate fuck. I'm just saying. Do you want to screw this one too? No, he he just. Fumbling with his jacket. I so, can yes, tell you those do. damn green eyes to say you totally yes, want to do. boink. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, which, which one's this? Um, aim. Aim. Aim, yeah. They aim want to boink. Aim. <laughs> yeah. You accept this compel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I almost. Yeah. You almost wish you couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Can I quit Too much. aim? It's too much in character, damn it. Yeah. No, he's just fumbling with his jacket at this point. No. Okay, okay. Right. Your wish to go ahead and have sexual congress with something as unappealing as a rotting mound of dead fish aside, what can you tell me about this guy? Like I said, he's... He's related to Malvolio, uh, and he's a, and as you know, he's flaunting his wealth very well. Yeah, but how do you know him? Through an interaction with Malvolio uh -huh. before the race. Oh, right, yeah, I, I remember him then. But what's got you so hot and bothered? I would have thought that there was more history there. <laughs> Sweats. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! It, it, it my my sexual attraction takes roots in a in a ten year old's eyes. <laughs> oh. 
no. Oh no, indirect pedophile. No. Uh, God. This is squiggly. It, it's a it's a long story about things that we can't exactly discuss in this situation. Looks over at the manager. Yeah, could you kind of get a move on? Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, well, sorry. Don't want you to be taking up your time. Yeah, uh, sorry. I, get I just need to keep an eye on you. And before, when when Aim leaves, does mm -hmm. he leave through the parking lot? Oh, yeah. Obviously, he he leaves with a fucking a limo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he has a limo, and you yeah. see a couple of trucks pass by. Okay, hold on. So, so when he leaves, though, like, do I see him coming out? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I wave over to him. Hey, aim, aim. Rolls down the window. You see his sister in the back seat. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> I, I kind of jog over. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hmm. Good. I heard from your friends that you're um having some fun. Yeah, I slap the top of his car, activate my stand. Yeah, we've been oh. having a really good time. We've been having a great time, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, good luck with those police reports over the radio. Yeah, yeah, you too, man. Hey, like, uh, careful out there. The roads are pretty slick. When not want you get into an accident. Yeah. Do you hear, like, a slight creak? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, they, and then he rolls up the window and drives off. Yeah, as he passes with his convoy, just starts slapping the cars as they go back. Like, All right, good luck, you guys. Have fun out there on the road. <laughs> <laughs> so you you all make it, it back with the the wheelchair. I am assuming that that you had uh, some agreement of paying it or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. Probably gonna go ahead and say you know here's a little extra for being you know special with us. Um, also grab some paint if necessary. Mm -hmm. Essentially, what it is and rope yeah. and such. Essentially, what what it is is that uh, I would assume that the manager would. Uh, say that it's uh, in loss, whatever, like appeal to loss, and then you know, add the money into it somehow, it, yeah. as extra profit or whatever, that yeah. way it's just like, the company isn't technically losing money, yeah. but it's counted as a someone stealing it, you know, so they replace it properly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Either way. It, no, we find a item that has a similar price value to it, a little bit higher, say we buy that, have that mm. zeroed out. Yeah. And he gets to take it home and have the profit in the stores. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. There you go. Yeah. But anyway, so you all all get back to the car. Um, you know, I, someone is probably holding Malvolio like a baby. Or they're pushing him in the, the actual like wheelchair this time. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. fucking bright and orange. So you see him from a mile away. <laughs> So we are a walking on beacon. <laughs> <laughs> Baby on board. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me what if you bought a baby on board sticker that we can put on the car. <laughs> Lee flips one out from between his fingers. Oh, yes. Oh, Lee, you are the most beautiful man I've ever met. I take him <laughs> hand it to Lee back in the car. All right. Uh, oh. So where to next? Uh, let's see here. Well, uh, still need to probably, like, we, uh, let's see here. Wait. Where the hell are we? Oh, right, fuck, right. We need to get to the the next town, remember? We, uh, we gotta pick up that, uh, the watch that was, uh, that package oh. that was sent to me. Jesus. Yeah, uh, I can't remember where, where it is. I think it's Yorktown is where you're going? Probably. Yeah. yeah, it was the or, next location we were supposed to go before everything got derailed. True, <laughs> true. So you're you likely are halfway between Yorktown and Richmond, kind of skipping skipping past uh, a bit. Yeah, <laughs> since yeah. you had to run through the woods. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you're on your way to uh, to Richmond. Um, yeah. You know, in, in a car no one knows because we actually like we ditch our old car, which is yeah. good. Yeah. So the the police are not gonna, or I guess the feds are yeah. are looking yeah. for you, but they don't know 
you know. So yeah, like as, as, as we're driving along, you notice the uh, the like interior lining of the car has all been like torn out. It looks uh, terrible. How much did you find? Uh, less than you'd imagine. Trackers, bugs. A uh, cup like one tracker uh, bug here up in the front, one back here in the back. Not too much more than that. Yeah. Well, in case they are still listening, I knew you guys would do this. If they're not, that was wasted. MCH frogs. Eh, it's always worth it. Mm -hmm. Got to have the moment. You drive past a bunch of broken down car parts on the street, uh, on the on the highway. Um. <laughs> Fucking uh, you and aim a fucking angry aim fucking kicking out of this shit with uh yeah you know like his sister and a bunch of people are, are sitting around and they're you know he's up Lee rolls down on the, the window phone. as we go by and yells convoy. <laughs> <laughs> See, it takes a bottle of water she'd been drinking from and lobs it out at them. Fuck you! Have a drink, assholes. Fuck you, peasants! Um, okay, so that's the uh, that's the hour mark, so uh, let's yes. uh, take a very quick break, and we'll be right back. Yes. And I, I will go to the bathroom. Ba -da -ba -da -dum. 